the token is Lix, but at the moment there is no mainnet still, so we get Lix E, which is ERC20 version of it. And its use case is very similar to the Ethereum's use case, so it's going to be uh, used for staking, for gas fees, and for the voting rights. For the change, CoinGecko seems to have the max supply number correct, which is 100 million. I always do a little bit of the technical analysis in the reviews. As you can see, I have already drawn three areas on the chart. The two red areas, you guessed it, are the would be the sell areas once the price gets there. And the bottom area was my old buy area. Although, as you can see, we closed weekly below that. Although, given how small market cap Luxo is, um, these technical rules will apply less, if at all. And everything will depend on the announcement or some significant releases. Although if Luxo was to go lower than my buy area, then it would be just short, in my opinion, it would be just short below $2. None of this, of course, is, is investment advice. It's just my technical opinion. Last but not least, very important is to keep an eye on the performance versus Bitcoin and Ethereum. And Luxo has been actually one of the very few tokens that have been outperforming as the price valuation of the token that have been outperforming Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin.